This is a Chromebook. The Chromebook resembles a small laptop computer in many ways and has many of the same abilities. One difference between a Chromebook and a laptop or desktop computer is the absence of installed software. You will not find individual programs for word processing, email, web browsing, or file storage. The Chromebook uses the internet to find, store, and process information. Documents, presentations, emails, and other information will be stored in the cloud. Wireless internet access, by way of Wi-Fi networks, will allow you to research topics, receive and send emails, interact with classmates, and even turn in assignments. The Chromebook you are issued is the property of the Sioux Falls School District and is meant to be yet another learning tool in your education. Just like textbooks, laptops, graphing calculators, and other learning tools you've used throughout your education, while the Chromebook is in your possession, you are responsible for it and its use. Only high school students are allowed to take the Chromebook outside of school. High school students will be issued the same Chromebook for all four years of high school, so it is important to take good care of the device. The issuance and use of the Chromebook is a privilege, not a right, and all students are expected to use the devices under the same set of guidelines as they use district laptop or desktop computers, clearly outlined in the Sioux Falls School District's policy IJNDC, which is available on the Sioux Falls School District's website. The accompanying regulation, IJNDC-R, spells out in detail the expectations for the use of district technology resources and that failure to comply could result in a student being unable to use district technology resources in the future. Violations can also lead to the necessary consequences laid out in the district's Progressive Discipline Policy, JK, and its accompanying regulation, JK-R. For example, destruction or removal of Sioux Falls School District asset tags or barcodes will constitute a vandalism violation of this policy. The same state and district content filters currently in place for computers and laptops will be used for Chromebook browsing as well. Because the Chromebooks belong to the Sioux Falls School District, these filters are in place regardless of the network being used to access the internet. This means the same websites you have access to at school are the websites you'll be able to access at home or on other networks. Each student will be issued a state email address for access to the Chromebook and its resources. Students will have access to Google Education Apps, Edmodo, and Office 365 accounts, as well as the aforementioned filtered access to the internet. The Chromebook is each student's responsibility, and each one costs $256. Just as a student would be responsible for a lost or destroyed textbook, the student, and ultimately his or her parents, are responsible for the Chromebook. Parents and students have the option of enrolling in a computer damage loss cooperative program, kind of like an insurance policy for the Chromebook. This program features a premium and a deductible amount to offset the full cost of repairing a Chromebook in the event of damage. The form for enrolling in this program is available on the Sioux Falls School District's website under the one-to-one -one student technology tab on the right-hand side of the screen. Here you will also find documents referring to the acceptable use of the Chromebook, an outline of student and parent responsibilities with the Chromebook, and tips for safe handling and use, which will be outlined here shortly. We highly recommend all students and parents familiarize themselves with these documents as soon as possible if you haven't already. Each school may have a different place to report damage, a malfunction, or a lost Chromebook, but each school has a designated area and staff to address these concerns. You will get specific information when you receive your Chromebook. If your Chromebook is damaged, lost, stolen, or needs to be repaired under the warranty for a malfunction, you will likely be issued a spare Chromebook in the meantime. You will not receive a replacement Chromebook for minor repairs. If your Chromebook has been damaged, you will not receive your repaired Chromebook until those repairs have been paid for. With care, the Chromebook will be a valuable tool for learning in the coming years. Treated properly, the Chromebook will be a customizable asset to your education. Keep the Chromebook clean. Wipe the surfaces with a clean, soft cloth. The Chromebook does not have a touchscreen, 
so keeping fingers off the screen will help keep it clean. The district will provide an approved cleaning solution for the Chromebook. Do not use water or other cleaning solutions on your device. When using the district approved cleaning solution, spray the solution onto a soft, clean cloth and then clean your device. Never spray anything directly onto the Chromebook. In elementary and middle schools, the Chromebooks will be charged nightly in carts. High school students are encouraged to charge their Chromebooks each night so they are ready for class the next day. When charging the Chromebook, make sure the power cable is lined up straight with the connector when inserting or removing. Be careful not to jerk, pull, or twist the Chromebook with the power cable connected. At school and in most instances, one of the best advantages of the Chromebook is that it is a wireless computing device. You will be able to complete work offline with the device, but to utilize its full potential, you should be connected to a wireless internet network. Each school has a wireless network available for use before, during, and after school. Only high school students will be allowed to take the Chromebook home with them. In the event that a student has internet access at home, but does not have a wireless network, the Chromebook can be used with a network cable. However, replacement Chromebooks, if yours is lost or broken and is awaiting repair or replacement, will likely not have this ability. High school students who may not have internet access at home can find free wireless networks at school before and after class, at public libraries, many restaurants and coffee shops, and nearly all of downtown Sioux Falls. It is important to remember that students are still able to work on word processing, presentation, and spreadsheet documents without internet connectivity, so homework can still be completed without an internet connection. Some basic common sense will lengthen the life of your Chromebook and keep it working at its full potential. Do not throw or drop the Chromebook. High school students will be issued a protective case for transporting the Chromebook. Keep the Chromebook in its protective case as often as possible. Keep the Chromebook dry and protect it from rain, snow, and any other liquids. A good rule is to never eat or drink near the Chromebook. Close the lid of the Chromebook before transporting it from one location to another. This ensures all mechanical and moving parts are not damaged during transit. Close the Chromebook carefully from the center of the screen. Do not slam it shut. Do not use the Chromebook as a folder to store papers or other items. Do not insert things, especially metal objects, into the openings of the Chromebook. Remember, with proper care, maintenance, and usage, the Chromebook will be a powerful tool in your education. We are proud to present our students with this opportunity and privilege and ask for the partnership of parents and students to make the one-to-one -one student technology initiative a success. Music